Hey, it's Tim Pierce. Uh, I got a request to teach this song, and it's so inspiring. Um, hey, if you click the link down below, there's a selection of private videos, not on YouTube. I've got a studio tour. I've got a blues lesson. I've got a strumming lesson. Those are for beginners. There's other stuff coming. Um, thanks so much for your support and for all your comments, and uh, let's break this song down. This starts with your index finger on the third fret, second string. You pick the note and you hammer on. Two frets above, same string with your third finger. And a hammer on is just your finger lands hard enough and confidently enough that it, it sounds the note equal volume. And it's this is a grace note, so it's quick. Your destination is really the fifth fret, second string. And then what we do is we add in the high E string for a drone. And it's a downstroke and it's easy to do because you just pick both notes at the same time, you get that really nice drone. And then you come down and hit this again. So the start of the phrase is. And that sets you up in the perfect position for your second finger to slide down to the next phrase. You put it on the third string, fourth fret. You pluck the note and you slide down. So let's go back to the top. And that's a quick move too, it's a grace note. Your destination is really this A note, this second fret note. And what you do here is you pull off to sound the next note. And what that is, you're, you're, you're here with your second finger and the act of just pulling it off the string sounds the open G note and you want to make that equal volume too. And then your next thing is to play the open D and then hammer on on the second fret on the open D string. So that creates the whole first phrase. And this is a grace note in this hammer on too. It's just like the first one, really. So I'm gonna walk you through it one more time. Hammer on with the drone in place, slide down, pull off, and then another hammer on on this open D string landing on the second fret with your second finger. And then what happens is he, he kind of strums a, a, an E major chord really, really lightly. So... And the way I do that, instead of landing here on the last part of the phrase with my second finger, I land with my third finger. So that's one of those choice, with choices where you're looking forward and you're setting yourself up to play the next piece of music. Because if I walk down and I land on my second finger, I'm not really set up to play the E chord. I have to kind of scuffle a little bit to play it. But if I walk down and I land on my third finger, then it becomes the anchor note for this E chord that we can brush really lightly like he does. This E chord, it's, it's really great because he plays it really light and it's kind of in, undefined and you can kind of play it the way you want. He kind of abandons this intro every time he plays it. If you look on YouTube, look on the internet, it's always different. But this is kind of what I heard on the record. So the next part of the phrase, we take our third finger and we're going to do a little bar. And we're doing another grace note. It's on the fourth fret on the fourth and fifth strings. And we, we bar it across these two. Just press down enough, but not too much. You don't want to cramp your hand at all. And you want to slide it up one fret to the fifth fret. And you want to alternate between that dyad, I think it's called a dyad, and the low E string. So you go and then walk back down to the fourth fret. So that part of the phrase is. And once again, I think it's all downstrokes. You know, a lot of what he does sounds better with all downstrokes. Check it out. So, the end of this phrase is another E chord that he brushes really lightly, but it's three strokes through the E chord. The first time he did it, it was, I, I think it was four strokes through the E chord, so check it out. One, two, three, four. And the first time through the E chord, it's, I think the low E, the 
fourth and fifth string brushed, and then the high two high strings brushed, and then the low E again. And then the second time he brushes that E chord, he just does the first part of it. The first three strokes. Once again from the top. And then the last part of the intro, he walks up here, and you have your index finger on the seventh fret, basically and you're, you're striking on the fourth string this A note right here and you play this phrase. The first part of it repeats. So you're going up a whole step and then you're barring across the second and third strings and playing that dyad. I love that word dyad. And that's the last part of the phrase. It ends with your third finger on the ninth fret, fourth string, kind of sliding down. And the bass player and drummer join on this. So let's walk through the whole thing. Hammer on with the drones, slide down quickly, pull off, another hammer on landing on your third finger to set you up for the E chord. Brush through the E chord with four strokes, low to high. And then we go here, barring, grace note, Fourth fret up to the fifth fret. Walk down, E chord again, with three strokes, and then the final phrase with the bass player and drummer up here to the seventh fret. Now we're gonna look at playing the chords in the verse, and there's a lot of ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna do it a basic way so we can just get started on it. In a subsequent video, I'm gonna teach some of the endless kind of fills that he uses in this, because they're pretty awesome. But for now, let's just get the chords and get a basic thing going. We start on the C chord, and, and like I say, there's lots of ways to do this, lots of interpretations. This is just mine. I'm not saying it's the totally the right one, but I think it's a good one. We take a C chord, a C bar chord, and the basis for this chord is our third finger on the fifth string, third fret. And then we do this bar across with our third finger on the fifth fret, strings two, three, and four. You've probably seen that one. So that's the first chord of the sequence. And then we keep our hand in the same position and we jump over to this G chord. And it's just kind of this E first position pulled up right here if you're, if you're kind of a beginner. And it's kind of strummy. And what I mean by that, it's kind of loose. And when you play these chords, you just want to be free with your right hand and kind of strum in a rhythmic way. So it kind of goes like this. Then you bring everything up two frets and do the same thing again. And then you drop down and play the low E and you grab this shape up here. So these are three familiar shapes and they're kind of repetitive. So we have C, G, repeat, D, A, repeat, E. So you're only using two shapes as you walk up the neck and you kind of strum it. And then you do this very cool riff, which is starts on the ninth fret with your third finger, low E string, and you jump over to the A string on the fifth fret with your index finger, and you repeat it. You play it twice. So here's how the whole thing goes. And that E chord, he does like so many different things. That's one of my favorites, is to like just play the E chord. And you kind of pull off and expose this kind of D over E. It's just, it's really simple. It's just your index finger laying across the first five strings. And it creates this kind of beautiful chord underneath the E chord. saw me do that in the intro of this video. So one more time with that thrown in. So I really like that one. And the other thing I hear on the record, and I'll teach this in a, in a later video, he does one of these kind of things too. Kind of 
he kind of jumps back to that first thing. He put, it's like the, a fragment from the intro. I hear that. There's also one variation on this riff. It's a lot of the times it's. But he also goes, which is really cool. So what that is, is you play the first part of the riff exactly the same. And then the next time when he does the variation, you jump over to the uh, fifth fret, fourth string, and you play that higher note. So some of the time it's, which reminds me of another song, and then a couple of times I hear. So try that variation as you play it. One more time through the whole kind of chord series. to grab. I went, I went for the, the droney thing at the end of it. It's a little hard to grab. So experiment with that if you can. And really it's this loose right hand that goes up and down. I mean the intro was mostly, well it was all downstrokes. But the actual verse I think feels best if you're kind of strumming up and down. And you can kind of be sloppy with it. It's one of those things you can be loose. Now let's pick up another piece of the puzzle and learn this really cool chromatic, it's pretty simple, this chromatic walk up. And there's lots of finger choices, but I'm gonna use just the three fingers. And I'm gonna kind of do it the same on each string. It starts with the C note, fifth string, third fret. Hit that, and then walk up from the low open E chromatically. That's just three half steps in a row. And use your first three fingers. So the first part of the phrase is. We're going to repeat this in different places. We're going to start it here on the second fret, fifth string on the B note, and walk up here. And then we're going to start again, two frets up on the low string on this F sharp note, and do it here. And then we're going to start again on the 4th fret, 5th string, with our index finger, and do it here. And that kind of completes the cycle. And what I'm choosing to do is I'm choosing to walk up using my first three fingers. And then, when I do the next one, I walk up, first three fingers, but then I slide up my first, my third finger, I mean, to grab that fourth note. That's just comfortable for me. I mean, you could use your little finger instead, so there's two ways to do it like that or like this. But the little finger to me just doesn't quite sound as strong and that's something that uh, is just, you know, something that I've experienced before. Slide up, slide up, slide up. And then you jump into the E chord and start, you know, filling around. But let's, let's do this walk up one more time. Start here with your index finger on the second fret, fifth string. Slide the third finger up, drop back, up to here. Now let me do it with my little finger and let's hear how it sounds. sounds a little more authentic if you leave the little finger out of it. Let's try it one more time. Here's the walk up. Start again with the index finger, second fret. Drop back down. So in each case, the fourth note is a slide of my third finger, except for the first one. Slide up. Slide up, slide up. And that's how I like to do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Click the link below for the collection of free private videos. 
and I'll see you next time. <laughs>